Hey guys, welcome back. Carter, Bits be tripping. We're gonna do a really quick video here today. It's actually a cell phone video because we're still getting our gear back together from our thing that we did on Thursday with you all. Thank you all for like joining the live stream and talking and all that stuff. So we never miss a day here. So we are looking at the new Radeon Pro 6800 here. You can see we got it powered in the power meter, uh, getting about 123 watts on those eight pins and we got some riser power at 34 watts. We're gonna go back through that here in a second, but I wanna show you guys what we have tried to do with these. These are actually BBT Jason's cards. He's looking at doing a like render build slash uh, doing some stuff for like transcoding media. And I was like, of course, I wanna try it and see what these things can do from a mining standpoint. So don't fear for all you workstation bros out there, like why the hell are you trying to mine with these cards? We are just testing mining with these cards. So we've been letting it run today. Most of actually this evening are from yesterday evening. So we're about 764 accepts. This thing's essentially bone stock. You can't do too much. That 1350 on the core uh, is what it's set at. We were able to drop that down to 1200 and we're at a thousand uh, on the memory. It won't let us change this. Uh, I think it could do a little better, but we're looking at 912 MV. That's normally around 1200. So we were able to bring the power down. It's about 148 watts is what it's claiming on the card. We can see that 31 watts from the riser plus, there we go, 122. So we're about one, it's really close, within three or four watts of what the software is so showing us uh, at 57 mega hash. So, I mean, this card's in the right around the $2,000, $2,100 price point not near enough for this. And if we go and check the Raven numbers on this, Raven's about 25 mega hash on this. And we'll show you some B-roll of that here in a minute of it running with Raven. I'll go ahead and flip that uh, in a minute. So we just didn't do the 20, the, the W6800 here. We also have the 6600 here. And the pro on that one, we'll show some numbers on that here in a second also for you. It's nothing to, you know, be super proud about. It's a 128-bit bus lane. That's going to hold it back, even though it's DDR6. So uh, the throughput matters on these cards. And these are going to stick and stay on the workstation thing. This is not like the A-Series from uh, the NVIDIA brand. Those do a lot better. Uh, and you'll see that video coming up with the A4000 and 5000. So make sure you're liking, subscribing and sharing this to people when we'll cover that. So let's cut over to some B-roll of this thing running with a couple different algorithms and we'll catch you guys on the next one.
Decentralization is one of the most important factors in a global cryptocurrency network. Bitcoin's proof of work functions due to the exceptional security provided by the miners of the network. Today's sponsor is Compass Mining, a company with a customer focused experience providing a tailored approach to purchasing, hosting, or even an at home option, allowing anyone the opportunity to participate. If this interests you, head over to compassmining.io.